everyone and welcome to Just Ask Freeman. I'm your host Paul Gebhardt with my special guest today, Mr. Freeman Owen Jr. himself. Hey, it's a real pleasure to be here. It's always good to see you. You're looking nice today, well, my friend. I, well, thank you so much and so are you. I was gonna we we kind of matched now, up, aren't Carolyn we? Carolyn didn't dress you, did she? <laughs> <laughs> she may have. She may have. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, look, man, yes. we're going to have some fun today. We're going to change some lives in the D.C. area. What do mm -hmm. you say to that? I'd say that we're going to be right on point. Yeah, and and I don't know if you mind if we jump into this sure. right away, Freeman, let's get, let's because right let's talk, it. you know, Social Security is one of those things, Freeman, there's more questions than answers, it seems like, because there's so many different ways people can take mm -hmm. Social Security. So one of the first questions I get from folks all, all the time is mm -hmm. like, Paul, when do I take Social Security? And what do you say to that, Freeman? Okay, here's how we're going to look at this. Let's look at the eligibility ages, okay. age 62. Mm -hmm. Uh, full retirement age now, 66 and 67, mm -hmm. and then your final eligibility age of age 70. Now, you just asked the question, when should I take my Social Security? Yeah. It depends on a lot of different factors. Uh, let's take the one where um, a person has told you that, or a friend, relative, uh, look, uh, you better take your Social Security benefit the Social Security trust fund yeah. is going to be insolvent in a few years. Yeah. Paul, that's wrong. Yeah. Here's the consequences of taking your full retirement age. No, I'm sorry. Taking, a, 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 applying for Social Security and receiving the benefit at age 62. Okay. Do you know, folks, that if you do that, there is a 30% reduction or is 30% less than what you would receive wow. at age, or full retirement age, 66 and 67. 30% lower. Exactly. Wow. And number one, I remember when Social Security used to consist of 46% of your retirement uh, uh, income. Yeah. It has now dropped down to 36%. So what do we need about with that? We need to supplement Social Security all right, with income producing assets. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that after I discuss the full retirement age uh, in which we receive benefits, which is at age 66 and 67. Okay. I've had questions asked, what employed adults expect to do after reaching full retirement age? Yeah. Mm. What is that? Okay. Well, there's an earnings test. Okay. If you decide to take your, your Social Security benefit prior to 66, 67, which are the full retirement age benefit ages, there is a cap of approximately $18,000. Really? Okay. Um, that means for every $2 that you earn, your Social Security benefit is reduced by $1. Now, we mm -hmm. can't afford that. No. Okay. Now, there are some folks that just need the Social Security uh, starting at age 62, in, in other words, to make ends meet. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, in the year, here's the kicker. If you're working in retirement and receiving Social Security benefits prior to reaching full retirement age, I mentioned the fact there's a penalty, almost 50%, for every $2 earned, the benefit is reduced by $1. Hmm. All right. Now, what if... You turn full retirement age um, in the year you turn 66 or 67. A lot of folks make mistakes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's easy to do in Social Security, it isn't it, is, Freeman? It is. Uh, the mistakes on receiving that benefit. Yeah. Well, the max or the cap, all right, is approximately $50,000. So that if you were a six-figure income earner, Got it. all right, for every $3 that you earn, okay, your Social Security benefit is reduced by $1. So folks will go to the Social Security Administration and file at the various ages. I'd mentioned 62, 66, and six months. Yeah. Uh, um, 
or 67 uh, or age 70, which right. is increasing your benefit approximately 132 percent more if you file at age 70. Yeah. 132% uh, of the full retirement age benefit. I want to ask you about that a little yeah, bit. So right. I, I heard somewhere, I read somewhere, that if a person can afford to delay taking Social Security, mm -hmm. which that's the big part of it, right? They exactly. have to be able to afford to do that. Okay. If they can wait, there is a provision that increases it each year. Is that it, not correct it, for it's, you? It's correct. Uh, as a matter of fact, from <clears throat> uh, 66, 67, okay. there's an 8% increase to age 70. So that's why I indicated that there's 132% more wow. at age 70 than full retirement age uh, 66 slash 67. Now I put the 66 slash 67 in because yeah. if you're born between 1943 and 1954, your full retirement age benefit starts at age 66. Subsequent years, 1955, there's increments of two months each, every, each and every year, right on up to 67. So, for example, you're born in 1955. Uh, you would look at your full retirement age benefit being 66 and two months. 1956, 66 and four months. So you'll get to 1960 and right. beyond. Okay. The full retirement age then is age 67. But employed adults... What do they expect to do after reaching full retirement age? Many yeah. of them make terrible mistakes on receiving the Social Security benefits. No one is helping them right. or taught them uh, word of mouth. They get it from uh, social media or yes. whatever. There's so you much information coming from so many areas today, Freeman. Exactly. What's the truth, right? What applies to the individual? Just ask Freeman. That's just That's yeah. all you have to do. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> Call us at 833-414-7233. Yep. Mm. Uh, yep. And uh, we'll help you with a special report. Mm. Now, what's the instructions on obtaining that, that report? Well, you go to SSA. Dot gov, okay, and you download your so social security statement. Okay, all right, and it will have your eligibility ages and the corresponding benefit amount. Okay, now once you have that, you and I review that, and I will pr compose for you your social security report. Okay, when to file for that social security without making mistakes. Really? Okay. Um, how to maximize your Social Security. Yeah. Uh, you might not take your Social Security benefit, say, uh, if you're working uh, at age 66 or 67 mm -hmm. in the year you do that. You might say, well, I think I'll take my Social Security benefit in 68. Okay, can I ask you a question? Sure Frank? enough. What do you charge somebody for doing that, coming and doing that review with you? Complimentary. Complimentary review. Not one dime. So if they go to ssa.gov, get the report, mm -hmm. they can reach out to you, come in, and have a complimentary Social Security review with you. Exactly. Freeman Owen. Freeman Owen Jr. I love it. And I, folks, all you got to do is just ask Freeman. Yep. Pick up the phone. Mm. Now, I'm going to talk about, uh, after I give this phone number, 833-414-SAFES. Yes. 833-414-7233. Get your complimentary co uh, consultation. You'll get your Social Security report. But also, I, I want to reemphasize, Paul. Okay. Social Security only covers 36% yes. of our retirement journey. Yes. I, I like to put it that way now because it is quite a journey. It is a journey. And you know what we're going to do? What's we're going to jump right into that when we get back. How about All we do right. that? Okay, because I'm excited. I uh -huh. want people to have pen and paper ready. So get your pen and paper ready. Mm -hmm. get, go to ssa.gov. Start with that report. Pick up the phone for your complimentary review. Folks, we can only hold 10 spots available because there's a lot of time and energy of Freeman and his team is going to put into you. They invest in your future. You got to invest by making the phone call. That's how this starts. 833-414-7233 is the number for Just Ask Freeman. Get your complimentary review. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after these messages. Stay with us. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. 
This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back, everybody, to Just Ask Freeman. I'm your host, Paul Gebhardt, with my special guest today, Mr. Freeman Owen Jr. himself. All right. My buddy. Listen, I got to tell you, I, Social Security is one of those areas that's a lot of confusion around it. Mm -hmm. People, there's so many different ways to take it, yeah. different times to take it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just really appreciate the fact that you're clarifying that for the good folks out there. But I, I got a question mm -hmm. from a caller. They called in. Right. And they want to know, okay, when it comes to Social Security, is my Social Security tax Freeman? Good answer. Good question. Yes, it is taxed, believe it or not. Uh, I know a lot of folks don't realize that back in 1983, mm -hmm. uh, Social Security benefits were taxed for the second time, or I should say for the first time uh, since the, the uh, inception of Social Security back in 1935 by President Roosevelt. Okay. And here's the surprise. You pay Medicare, Social Security, uh, Social Security and Medicare uh, taxes. <laughs> Matter of fact, I can go all the way back one time when I worked at McDonald's. <laughs> they took five out, paid Medicare and Social Security taxes. Now, you receive your Social Security benefit, Paul. Yeah. You're taxed again uh, based on provisional income, which I don't have the time to elaborate extensively on how that works. Right. But it depends on your uh, marital status. Um, and also, you may be taxed. Now, in some jurisdictions, I know in, in the state of Maryland, we pay no taxes on, uh, at the state level, hmm. so, uh, taxes for our Social Security benefit. But at the federal level, yes. And I want let me add this, too. Okay. There are ways uh, in which we can get Social Security benefits through spousal benefits, hmm. survivor benefits, uh, such as widower benefits. Okay. Uh, we can also get, um, uh, if you're divorced, you need to know the specifics. If you want to know, just ask Freeman. Mm. Uh, call us at 833-414-7233 and get a complimenting consultation. Yeah. And you can t find the ways we'll have for you and develop for you tax efficient uh, report and assessment and your Social Security report and then we have to bring in income-producing assets. And we're going to talk about that. Do you mind if we talk about that just for a minute? Yeah, no, let's okay. do that. As oh. we do a, sort of like a little segue yes. right into from Social Security. Uh, I mentioned earlier that, Paul, only 36% of your retirement income is provided by what? Social, Social Security. Security. Right. <laughs> All right. That's We're seeing it go a, from 46 to 30, uh, 30, uh, 36. I got to be honest, Freeman, that's, that seems like a pretty small amount to be real. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's critical to, to have it, but it is not enough. Mm. We talked about the pitfalls of, of getting your distributions from the 401k in, in the show. And we discussed distribution problems or some of the obstacles could be in the way when it comes to getting the distribution. Well, folks, we need those income-producing assets to supplement Social Security. So if you've got two hundred and fifty, five hundred thousand, you've you, you've accumulated a million dollars in your emerge, uh, in your uh, employer-sponsored retirement account, call us. Just ask Freeman how to supplement our Social Security mm. and have the driving force that will provide income, we don't know, we, we should be 25, 30 years, 
uh, of retirement uh, where with your Social Security, income-producing assets, you and I, or I should say, uh, my uh, the uh, participants who wish to uh, elicit our services, we'll sit down there and talk about some of the obstacles, what we have to dodge. Yeah. Inflation. Mm. Increase health care costs. Oh, and that's a huge one, that's right? That's a big one. Yeah. Um, Long-term care. Long-term care. Oh. Uh, where you, if you can't perform two activities of, out of the six yeah. that we know about, eating, sleeping, I mean, sorry, walking, bathing oneself, yeah. feeding oneself, even Alzheimer's and dementia. Yes. I mentioned the fact that we cannot charge our retirement. Mm. That's where we bring in our income-producing assets. Yes. Generating lifetime income to supplement Social Security because Social Security just is not enough. It's not enough, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I'll tell you. So if you want to avoid some of the costly mistakes in your retirement, all righty, and the distribution, mm -hmm. okay, of your employer-sponsored retirement accounts, yeah. your IRAs, yes. how to avoid mistakes when it comes to um, uh, getting your Social Security benefits at the right age, mm right time, just to ask Freeman. What Absolutely. do you think, Paul? Uh, that's the answer. What's the number to call? The number to call is 833-414-7233 <laughs> because that is what we're talking about here. You've got questions. you got all kinds of questions. I understand. I do too. Mm -hmm. Just ask Freeman. What is knowledge worth? That's what we're talking about. Exactly. What is knowledge worth? What's your time worth? How long did it take you to get to where you are? You get one shot at retirement. You don't get to go back and do it again. At least not voluntary. You shouldn't want to be doing that. that that's not an enjoyable mm -hmm. retirement, right? Exactly. So this is the deal. Just ask Freeman. His family, his team, they're waiting to meet with you. Get together to plan that financial future, the one you dream about. 833-414-7233. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back right after these messages. Unexpected events like a global pandemic can turn our world upside down overnight. They can cause volatile shifts in the market and may cause you to question the confidence in your current retirement plan. As a pre-retiree or retiree, knowing you have a plan that can withstand the worst economic conditions can help you sleep at night. Contact us today for your complimentary review to find out where you stand. Just ask Freeman. Call us at 833-414. 7233. We're frequently asked where we think tax rates are headed. Most experts agree tax rates will eventually have to go up as our federal debt increases. Without any changes, the government's current plan is set to expire in 2025. Every penny counts, especially in your retirement. Is your current plan efficient and optimized to reduce your tax obligation? Contact us today. Just ask Freeman for a complimentary review. Reach us at 833-414-7233. Welcome back, everybody, to Just Ask Freeman. I'm your host, Paul Gephardt, with my friend today, Mr. Freeman Owen Jr. of Just right, Ask yeah. Freeman TV. All right, glad hey, to be here. you know what? The phones are going crazy, Freeman. Could you do us a favor? Yes. We got lots of questions that came in mm. in the break. Would you answer some questions for the good people I out sure there? I sure will. Okay, glad let's start off with number one here. Mm. So uh, Jane from Baltimore wants to know, when can I take a distribution from the thrift savings plan or 401k? When can I do that? Well, you can do pretty well anytime. <laughs> However, mm. cause some mistakes if you don't take the distribution properly. All righty. Anytime you have um, an employer-sponsored retirement account, uh, we, we did a matter of fact, Paul, we did a show on that. Yeah. Uh, if you're under the age of 59 and a half and you take a withdrawal from your TSP, let's say you're just a couple hundred thousand dollars. You, you want to do something with that money. Well, you're under 59 and a half, that's a 10% uh, penalty. That's $20,000. Yeah. Another 20%, whether you're over the age of 59 and a half or not, that's 40,000. 
So you're talking about a $50,000 tax liability because you made the mistake of not having any counsel in the withdrawal process from an employer-sponsored retirement account. Wow, painful, folks. I'd like for you to get my text, too, uh, when you become a client of ours, uh, the 10 IRA mistakes and how to avoid uh, the tax traps. Mm. So tax traps are right there in your employer-sponsored retirement account withdrawal. Call us at 833-414-7233 and get your complimentary consultation, mm. all right? And uh, like I said, you saw on the screen there, the 10 IRA mistakes and how to avoid the tax traps. But uh, you could take monies from your TSP, not only lump sum, okay? You can get a payout over time. Uh, we, you notice, Paul, you don't have the control. There were stipulations, wasn't it? Yes. I use that stips. Yes, <laughs> like <real> stipulations, <laughs> yes. On the distribution. Yeah. Uh, you can take a, I won't say a lifetime income because the value of the accumulation, whatever, how you've got your allocation is into that employer-sponsored retirement account, TSP. Mm -hmm. It could change month to month or daily. You can also uh, mention the fact that uh, you can borrow money, you can uh, up to 50K. Here's a question I had, uh, I think it came in on that last call. I borrowed $50,000 for my TSP. Yeah. I've separated from service. Yeah. And here's how the language was. They had, they had quote, the audacity <laughs> to say that was a taxable event because I didn't pay the loan back. Oh. See, Paul, that's the thing. Folks make costly mistakes when it comes to retirement dollars. You, yeah. you can't keep stumbling around sure. making these errors uh, as you approach 59, yeah. 60, 70, yeah. 75, 80. Well, you we, know, Freeman, mm -hmm. you get folks out there, a lot of times it's hard for them to figure out where to go. Who is a trusted resource, right? There's so much information out there on the Internet, Freeman. Well, how do you disseminate what's true, what's not? Just ask Freeman. Yeah. All right, folks, pick up the phone. Call us at 833-414-7233 and get your complimentary, mm. all right? Complimentary consultation. Get a second opinion. If you have anywhere between 250000 a half a million, million dollars that you have accumulated and you want to keep it safe now in the distribution phase, call one 414 Three, three. Give us a call today and get your consultation, all right? Good stuff. Hey, you got time for one more question? Sure Can we jump into yes. one more? Because mm -hmm. I don't have a viewer question okay. called in. So we, we asked the, uh, the Social Security questions before, but this particular one I really like. Mm -hmm. Can I work and apply for my Social Security benefits? Yeah, you sure can. They can do that at the same time? even though They can do it at the same time. Hmm. Now, we mentioned, and I'm glad we did, hmm. say you're working. And uh, you decide now, you know the eligibility age. I'll disclose it right now. Age 62. Right. 66 slash 67 and 70. Now I'm working. And I go to the Social Security Administrative Office. Sign up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm age 63. Right. Okay, okay you ready for this? Uh-oh. You get the first check, and you see that, hey, gee, Manitas, about... 20, anywhere between 25 to 27% less. Mm. And then you look at your, st oh my goodness, I could have gotten an extra 800 to to $1,000 more had I waited that two years, mm. 66 to 67. What happened was that the check that came or arrived in your checking account, uh, being anywhere between 25 to 30% less than what you received is 66 and 67. Yeah. Okay. The liability was for every $2 that you earn, folks don't know this, the Social Security benefit was reduced by $1, Paul. Ouch. That's a 50% penalty because there's yeah. a cap, mm. okay, uh, that uh, on the amount of money on your earnings, mm. okay? It's called the earnings test. Failed that one. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, folks, if you want to, resolve the issue of when to take your Social Security, all righty, 
and how to avoid mistakes. Yes, you can work. Got a few minutes here. Let me let me get this party. Okay, okay. I can't wait. Now, Let's do it. Full retirement age. Okay. 66 slash 67. Yes. Uh, let's say uh, your date of birth is in December of the year you turn 66 slash 67. Okay. You're kind of anxious to say, man, I'm ready. Let me, let me, let me go down and file for <laughs> yes. my Social Security. <laughs> yes. Uh, in January, mm. you're all pumped up. Yep. You said, I've earned this. I'm getting ready to retire. Now, you look at your check. And you say, well, gee, I'll be 66, 67 in December. This is January of that year. Hmm. I wonder why um, I got a penalty. Because I'm earning six figures. And for every $3, now they don't know this, but we, we, we've informed them now, for every $3 earned, <laughs> that benefit is going to be reduced by $1. So there's a $50,000 cap. So, folks, if you really want to know... Mm how to file for your Social Security, how to bring in income-producing assets. If you have a quarter of a million, a half a million, a million dollars, and you're in the distribution phase now, we want to keep that money safe. Just ask Freeman. Call us at 1-833-414-7233. Call today and get a complimentary consultation. Get a second opinion. Mm, second okay. opinion. A like second it. opinion yeah. and keeping dollars safe. We do not want to lose any of that principle that we have accumulated over 25, 30 years. Now, distribution phase, it's time to, to enjoy mm. uh, the quality of life of which we have assets that will produce that peace of mind. Yeah. So again, our, our number is 833-414-7233. Yes. Clock on the wall. That's great stuff. That's good stuff, Fred. I had a good time today. I, uh -huh. I always hate it when our shows come to an end because I learned so much from you. Mm. And, you know, folks, I, I just got to share this with you. When you go somewhere new in life, you don't go without a guide for fear of being lost. And that's what we're talking about. Retirement is a place we haven't been yet. Who's your guide? Who do you hire to show you the way? Just ask Freeman. That's what he wants to do is be your guy through retirement. Because it's not enough just to get to retirement. Retirement should be enjoyable. This is the vacation of a lifetime. You've waited your life to take. Pick up the phone. Make your appointment with Freeman and his team today. 833-414-7233. This is what it's about. You. Your future. We want to thank you so much for being with us today. Be well and enjoy your retirement.